So, someone commented on my Supersonic review that I should review Knuckles. I don't know which Knuckles plush they meant, and all my other Knuckles plushes that I own are not very interesting in the slightest. So, you know what? I'm just going to review the coolest Knuckles plush that I own. This Sega Sonic Knuckles plush. This Knuckles plush was released in 1995 and was made in-house by Sega, so that's pretty cool. But when I can tell, well, this Knuckles plush was not released in America. This Knuckles plush is noteworthy because he has suction cups on his hands. Yeah. It's really weird that they'd add suction cups to his hands. I don't know exactly what purpose they serve. I know that these styles of plushes were common uh, in, uh, in older years. Uh, but they've fallen out of style heavily. Uh, the suction cups, from what I've tried, do work well. But the plush is actually pretty heavy, for a reason I'll get into later. And I wouldn't recommend holding, putting, hanging him up if, if you have one with the suction cup, because they might risk. And I do not want more rare Sonic plushes I own being ripped or damaged somehow. I'm going to use Sonic Adventure. Knuckles' face looks pretty good. He has the correct number of dreads. He has a very, he's made of a very soft material. His eyes look good. His eyes are made of plastic, so they look all right. They look very good. They do scratch pretty easily, as you can kind of see. Not very well, but you can definitely see. Uh, his mouth is really hard to see, but once you actually do see it, it's, it's well detailed. And, um, pretty good. He's pretty lumpily stuffed, especially on the body, but I'll get I'll talk about that later. I'm talking about it now. Knuckles' body is pretty lumpily stuffed, and actually really firmly stuffed for whatever reason. It's like, it's, it's weird. I don't know why. His tail is actually really big, and his body is really small. I don't know if this was just a thing on Classic Knuckles. I remember from what I've seen of Classic Knuckles already, he's taller than Sonic, but this looks like a sonic body with knuckles on the hands and the knuckles on. Like, the body isn't in any different of a shape compared to Sonic. The arms are pretty good, again, quite firmly stuffed for whatever reason. But, minus the suction cups, he, they look completely accurate, nothing really much to comment on. His legs and feet look pretty good. Uh, they, uh, his legs are quite short, and his feet are missing the uh, the bolts that they're supposed to have, which is a weird detail to miss because that was a pretty prominent feature of Knuckles. But I mean, it's nice that they at least detail the gray area. And his feet are not made of some dumb plastic that breaks over time. Looking at you, Sonic Adventure plushes, not my Knuckles plush in particular. He's pretty much completely mint. Seriously, look at this. It's really good. As you can see, this is the Tush tag. It says 1995 on it. And some Japanese stuff I can't read. Copyright Sega. Nice. And this is his tag art. I think this is pretty standard Sega Sonic tag art, from what I can tell. However, the back is pretty interesting. It has a lot of stuff I can't read, but it has the number eight, box number four, prize news, get. Sega Facts Club. I think this was some kind of service where you could fax something to Sega and they'd send you stuff in return. Like prizes. That is such a weird thing, but cool, I guess. But yeah, I should not for I cannot forget to mention this. This Knuckles plush with suction cups on his hands was not the only suction cup Sonic plush. There was an entire line of these things. Yes, an entire line. With Sonic, Tails, and Dr. Eggman. For whatever reason, Eggman's suction cups are not on his hands, but sort of where his buttons should be, and it... it I really don't... Why? I don't know why. I... I... To this day, I don't know why. So yeah, I guess it was just a thing in Japan for a while. The reasons I got this Knuckles plush is not only that it's a cool old Sonic plush, but also because it is very reminiscent of the Sonic the Fighters Knuckles plush, which itself is reminiscent of a bunch of other Sega Sonic Knuckles plushes. 
I think what's going on here is that the Sega, is that the Sonic the Fighters plushes are, well, the, specifically the ones of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and Eggman are just standard Sega Sonic plushes because those those patterns would be used on multiple other uh, Sega Sonic plushes, like this one's of them holding bags, and again, these ones of them with the suction cup hands. I think that the Sonic one in this set looks very different from the Sonic the, Fight Sonic the Fighters one, but the basket one is like very similar. So if you want, just look up pictures of these plushes and, and you can tell that they look very similar. So it's cool to own kind of the Sonic the Fighters Knuckles plush, but it's not really because it's very, it's a different it's a, it's a different thing. It's, it's, it's complicated. Uh, as for this Knuckles' rarity, uh, I he's not really rare, I'd say. I think there's a couple of them on eBay right now. But they're all basically for the same price. They're all for $60. Um, so, I guess this Knuckles is worth pretty much $60. If you're willing to spend $60 on a Knuckles plush, then go ahead. I mean, this guy looks absolutely perfect. So, I spent $60 on him. Overall, this is a really weird and really cool little Knuckles plush. If you can find it, I'd recommend getting it if you want to spend $60 on Knuckles like a big kind of plush. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go ahead, I, mean, I can't stop you! Anyway, thank you to the person who told me to review Knuckles. Um, they're on the screen right now. I don't know if this is the Knuckles plush you necessarily wanted me to do, but I mean, I did it. If I, if like any of these other Knuckles plushes interest you and you want me to do a review on these, I, I will, I guess. Also, if there's any other Sonic plushes you want me to review, then tell me. Please, I really don't know what to review, and I would really prefer it if you guys told me what to review. Actually, no, wait, I know what to review. Noseless Luigi!